Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel and it is day four of Amanda Claus, which means there's of course a giveaway at the end of this video, so stay tuned to check it out. But let's just get right into the first DIY, which is this tea bag Christmas tree. Perfect for anyone who loves to drink tea. I think it's a great way to display the tea bags. I saw something similar to this on Pinterest and I thought it was the cutest thing ever, so I will leave the original pin down below if you want to check it out. But for this, I used a paper gift bag because it was the perfect thickness of paper. If you use regular paper, it won't hold its form. So as you can see, I made this large compass by tying some string to a Sharpie and basically the length of your string will be the height of your Christmas tree. And I cut out this semicircle. And then what you're gonna do is start rolling it into a cone shape and tape the edges down. Since this doesn't look the most aesthetically pleasing and because people will be taking off the tea bag, so the base does matter a little bit, so that's why I decided to cover the entire thing in green tape. It's a little more Christmassy, but you can also just use colored um, cardboard paper if you want to do that initially and then you don't need to worry about this. But now, of course, you're going to need some tea bags. I decided to go for these two colors because I thought they're the most Christmassy, but you can totally choose whatever you want. And what I'm doing is I'm putting a line of hot glue along the top and then I'm starting from the bottom and going all the way around the cone. So I decided to alternate the colors just because I could, but um, you can totally do all different types of tea or do rows. But once you're finished the bottom row, you're just going to move up onto the second row and slightly overlap them so it covers the top. I wanted to add a little star on the top, so I put some glitter tape onto some cardboard on both sides so that it's double-sided, and then I basically just cut it out into a star shape. In order to attach the star to the tree, I cut a couple slits at the top of the tree so that the star could just fit right into those two little slits. And that's how you make this tea bag Christmas tree. I think it is so cute and it's definitely very easy and affordable to make, which is awesome. And you could even throw in a mug on the side if you wanted to do sort of like a tea themed gift. I just think it is such a good gift and it looks like you put a lot of effort into it. The next gift we're gonna make is this dream catcher. This could even be made just as a room decor piece for yourself, like I kind of wanted to keep it in my room. And I think it's just a very nice personal homemade gift that anyone would appreciate. So you're of course gonna need some yarn. I would recommend getting some of this jumbo knit. I actually got it from Walmart, so it was very affordable. And then you're also going to need an embroidery hoop, which you can find at the dollar store or any craft store. So you're gonna start off by tying the yarn to the end of the embroidery hoop. And then as you can see, I'm wrapping the yarn around the embroidery hoop to cover up the wood. And what I decided to do is switch between colors. So in order to do that, you just tie your second color and then wrap that color around the hoop as well as the initial yarn. I hope that makes sense, but you can definitely sort of tell what I'm doing here. I'm just switching between the two colors. And then I also even ended up doing both colors at once and it gave it this cool little striped design. So I thought that was a really unique thing, but same thing when you're switching between colors, you're basically just gonna be wrapping the yarn around the hoop as well as the other yarn color. Oh my God, that doesn't make sense. But anyways, once you get to the end, tie it off and then re-screw that embroidery hoop closed. You should end up with a hoop that's completely covered with yarn. Now we're gonna take a new piece of yarn and this is going to be the inner part of the dream catcher. And I'm basically doing a random geometric shape so you can wrap it around the hoop to make it more secure. And I'm really just doing whatever I think looks the best. I'm just making sure to go through some threads and wrapping around the hoop as well. And I would recommend making your way back to the initial knot so that you can tie the end of the yarn to the first knot. Our dream catcher is almost complete, but I wanted to add some tassels, so I made groups of four pieces of yarn and I'm folding it in half and then looping it through the hoop and pulling the ends through that loop. It's probably a lot easier if you just watch what I'm doing in the video, but I did decide to alternate between the two colors just so that it matched the whole theme, but you could totally do all one color, whatever suits the person that you're gifting to. And then your dream catcher is complete. Oh wait, no, it's not. Um, I did actually make a little loop and I'm again tying it to the top of the dream catcher just so that it can be hung up. And then now your dream catcher is complete. 
I absolutely love the way this turned out. I think it looks more expensive than it actually was. Like I've seen some of these dream catchers go on Etsy for 70 bucks and this one was pretty affordable and easy to make and you can customize it to the person that you're gifting to. So the last gift idea, this one's the easiest and it's more just of an idea, not really a DIY. But you can even throw this in with the dream catcher because it sort of goes along with the sleep theme. So you're going to need some slippers and you're going to stuff the insides of the slippers with some wrapping paper just to fill it up. And then you can throw in whatever sleep and relaxation items that you want. I just said to go for some face masks, candles, sleeping mask, and some lip balms as well. And basically, after that, you just have to tie it up into a bow. You can add a gift bow as well. You can even um, wrap it in cellophane if you want it to be more secure, but I just decided to go with the bow. And that's pretty much it. I told you guys it was a super easy DIY, but I just wanted to give you this idea because I think bundling items together like this is a great way to elevate more affordable products. Hey everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that DIY, but now, of course, on to the giveaway. So if you don't know what's going on on my channel, basically I'm having giveaways and holiday videos all month long, so if you want to join in on the fun, I will definitely leave the link to the original announcement video if you want to know more about the series and all of that good stuff. For today's giveaway, we have a bunch of makeup and beauty goodies. They are all on the screen right now. So if you want to know how you can enter for this one, again, everything will be in the description box as usual. But yeah, that's it. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join me every Monday and Friday for new holiday videos and giveaways. I hope you have an awesome day and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.